but we're doing something totally different. Today, I am sitting here with the lovely Cindy from Norwegian Cruise Line, and we are on Norwegian Cruise Line. I have just had the best time, so thank you so much for including me in this. I just love it. Now, you've been on the ship a lot more than anybody else. <laughs> So, because you've done you went to Iceland, and what other ones have you been? I've been to Iceland. We also had in our from New York City a few weeks back. I was already here on this ship a couple of days ago, and we've been to wonderful places to Iceland, to Europe. Um, the, the, the inaugural cruise was ending in Amsterdam, so wonderful food. Remember European food, and as well New York. We've been to Halifax actually so we visited canada and right now we are on our way to our private island in uh, bahamas which is called crates tiraki so we're very excited about it and today's a wonderful day at sea it is it is my husband sent me a little uh video of him leaving for work and it was snowing <laughs> and he's like look at my videos of course i had to you know do a rebuttal and show him my video of the gorgeous sunshine I know back home in Toronto, I know today I think it's one or two degrees as well, so I don't feel too bad about being here today. No, not at <laughs> all, not at all. So being on the ship for so many days, um, what is your favorite restaurant so far? Ooh, it's going to be hard. It's a hard question because this whole ship is a game changer. It's like, come on board and find out by yourself, it's going to be different from everything else you've seen. Number one, restaurant is a thing, but the main dining room. I know it's because everybody thinks about specialty dining, but now we have actually this fantastic main dining room called Hudson's, which is at the back of the ship. It looks a little bit like what you can see here, because we have opened the ship on the outdoor, everywhere, and that includes the main dining room, which has a beautiful chandelier. We have a revamped actually menu as well, which is amazing. The food is absolutely gorgeous here, and what I love is the view. We see the ocean wherever we are on this ship. We have the light and the water, and that's why I started to work for a cruise line because my love for the ocean is extremely deep. And being on the cruise ship today, you don't want to stay in the dark. You want to see the outside, right? So actually, the main dining room is my favorite. Awesome. We were actually looking at the deck plans, and that was so handy in our room to have a little pamphlet with the deck plans, especially on a brand new ship. So we were looking at all the different venues because I'm here with my daughter and we were thinking, oh, so we're looking at the Commodore and then the Hudson's and we're looking at some pictures and we're like, absolutely. So we actually went there last night too. So that was really great and it was beautiful. I love the floor to ceiling windows. And wouldn't that be so nice when you're in Alaska? Oh, oh dear. To see that. And it, when you were in Iceland, oh my goodness, that must have been It was fantastic. We, yes. we, we used to have dinner at the uh, Sunset Time and it was absolutely gorgeous. The colors is just great. And now too, we have as well the Ocean Boulevard, which is basically a wrap around promenade around the ship, the, the, the bars and the restaurant. You can have your dinner like the terrace, enjoying the view on the sea and feeling the breeze on your face. It's just it's just absolutely gorgeous. We have a new concept as well called Indulge, which is brand first new time actually on Norwegian. So this is basically where we have this port where you have 11 stations and each of them has a different theme. Out of those 11, two actually comes with an extra charge, which are Starbucks and Cocos, which is already the case on all the ships. But nine of them are free of charge for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And the food there you have like from vegan options, you have vegetarian options, you have roti free, you have a uh, noodle bar, you have uh, perhaps some, the Indian station, my old time yes. favorite. Yes. And this is so great. You just sit down here. If you actually have your uh, meal indoor, you have those sort of tablets on, 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 the, on the table, and you can order your food right away here. It's there in 30 seconds. But if you wish, and you have the choice, which is what is so important to us, you having the choice, you can sit outdoor and just enjoy your lunch. Absolutely. Enjoy the food. We actually had lunch there yesterday, too. Isn't that funny? Every place you're saying we hit. And uh, yeah, and the, the curry. Oh my goodness. Um, that was the favorite. It was, what was that, the cauliflower and the curry, I forget the exact name of it, but... It aloo gobi, which is my favorite. <laughs> my total favorite aloo gobi with rice is just, I had too much of that. No, there's nothing such as that. No, uh, you're on a curry. No. Yes. <laughs> yeah, and then the rice of the day we had with it. And I said to my daughter, oh my goodness, this rice. Like, it's 
it's rice. It's delicious. It's the soup of things that matter. That's the soup Yeah, and so she had that, and then I had the beef shish kebabs, and I'm sure if you've looked at all of our other videos, you've already seen that. Um, all of what, you know, and I went through, had an order with the tablet and whatnot. Uh, but, oh, just delicious. Absolutely. And it's so delicious and fast, like you said, and hot. And that's the biggest thing. It's hot, fast, and tasty. So, we're hitting later on today, the Galaxy Pavilion. Oh, we're, we're gonna fun. Go. Now we're talking about fun. Yes, so we're going to go and do one of the roller coasters. Have you done any of the roller coasters? I did, and I love it. And it's it's such fun. You know, that's why I love it, this new ship. Because why is everyone new ship is this sense of elegance. You go everywhere, you will see it. It's so elegant. It's beautiful. It's very good taste. But we don't forget the fun. Because it's true that for cruise lines, for a very long time, Elegance was as well synonymous of, well, quiet, maybe too quiet. Here you have the choice. We have the quiet areas, and you don't have to compromise anymore with the level of service and the environment versus the fun, right? And you have Galaxy Pavilion. We have a free level go kart. Yes, free level go kart. <laughs> yeah, and we're scheduled for that for 12.32 today. Awesome. Yes. Awesome. Yes. Yeah, the go kart. And the Galaxy Pavilion, yeah. Whatever your age is, you are 8 years old or 68, you're going to adore it. You have like simulators, like you feel your own real car, killing zombies, and so on. <laughs> it's That's going to be great. It's, it's, it's all fun. virtual reality, it seems, right? So you don yeah. the headsets and you're in a whole new, new area, new planet. That's great. Yeah, it really looks like a Star Wars as you're walking through. Yes, yeah. it, like does. Kind of it does. You have actually like uh, virtual reality a little bit everywhere, so mm -hmm. that's, that's really, really fun. Yeah. And that looked really cool. So I'm looking forward to that. And then, um, of course, we have one specialty dining. And everybody who's doing the great soup, it's going to be hard to choose a specialty. I know. We've chosen the French, and I'm sure you're going to be fine with that, being from France. I'm from France, and it's, I, I can, I kid you not, I tried multiple times to be sure, of course, right? Got to it. Be quality control. Quality control. No, and it's not only the bistro now, it's absolutely gorgeous. Um, if you are curious, just check for pictures and uh, use it. It's gorgeous, but it really tastes like food. It's this kind of dishes that yeah. it's, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. Excellent. Good. Um, I know the last time I sailed with you, we went to the steakhouse. You can't go wrong with the steakhouse. Um, for the steakhouse, we actually enjoyed eating outside and we planned it with the sunset. Um, and I think that was just so beautiful to do it that way. Would be romantic with my daughter, not so much. But if you're here with your significant other, it's a beautiful romantic spot. It's it's and even with if you obviously because it's a terrace, we cannot accommodate a large group. But if you have like three, four between friends, family members, it's a gorgeous place to spend. Yes. And that's one of the things I really liked about Norwegian, like about Norwegian Caribbean people on here, no past tense, we're still enjoying it, is how Norwegian is able to bring the outdoors into you. It seems like every venue is just focused on the ocean, is focused on the outdoors, and it's so phenomenal. Um, a lot of other cruise lines seem to have everything is inside, very deep in the belly of the ship, but not in Seattle. We don't do that. Out there. We have 42,000 square feet of all those spaces, and what we have introduced for the first time as well, just to give you a little bit of history on that wonderful ship, technically the size of the ship is the same as other, uh, other cruise ships where we usually have in the 4,000 passengers, but this one welcomes only only 3,250. It's great. So that's a lot of space that we wanted to give you back. So that goes with the cabins, for example. Today we offer the biggest ratio space per passenger at sea on the contemporary cruise line. We have the biggest cabins in a in a nutshell. We have showers bigger than ever. Yes, I, I did know that matters. That. I know it does. And you can just enjoy the view from the balcony, but it goes everywhere else. Mm -hmm. That's why, indeed, as you were seeing on the other cruise line, you may find indoor. It looks a little bit like shopping malls sometimes. You get indoor, there's no windows, there's nothing at all. Here you get indoor, you have all those wonderful spaces, but you can just walk out. We have this wraparound promenade, and we can see here you have a glass bridge over the water on the both sides. We have, for the first time, as well, introduced the concept of infinity pools on each side. Side of the ship. Any traditional ship has a pool, swimming pool on the top deck. We still do it. We still find it on Norwegian Prima. But here, in addition, accessible to everyone, 
you have two infinity blocks each side of the ship. On the very same deck where you have the bars and the last so you can literally go with your favorite cocktail, which is the colada for me. There you go. And yeah. then you can just lie down on those loungers. We have as well hammocks as well, which are beautiful. Yes. You just go with the, you know, I do it just thinking about it. I'm doing it naturally. You're swaying, yes. You're going to swing, actually. Yeah, it's, it's lovely. It is. It's absolutely stunning. And I cannot wait to explore more. I'm only here for three days, but you guys will be here for a whole week. So when I do book you, you're going to have to tell me about all your favorite venues. And I can't wait to hear about them. So make sure you reach out to us because there's so much to see and do. And I can't possibly show you all of it in three days. So there's going to be a lot of neat surprises for you. And as well, if, you li if you're like me, if you love theater, if you love shows, we still have signature suit Broadway shows. We have, for example, Donna Summer, which is basically like the headline on the ship. But not only, we have Mori, and we have this new concept as well, and I've seen it, and it's so exciting. So you have the theater now, and the theater where you're going to get, for example, Donna Summer. We have actually Noise Boys as well, which is like a really fun show where people make music, actually like doing, doing percussions. But what is fun is once the shows are over, we still keep using the theater because we transform it in front of your very own eyes into a night club. So the way we do it, we have for the very first time retractable seats. It's a little bit like high school, if you remember, basically your basketball, your basketball room where all those seats go back. So we have the same and you can see it, it's a 20 minutes process. But in the meantime, for example, Donna Summer, disco time, right? Disco time. So we invite our guests to come on the stage when we change the room so it opens actually into a nightclub. And the party never, never stops. You transition between being a spectator of the show and now you are into the show. And that's, that's so nice. That's that so is nice. very good. Yeah, incredible. Yes, because you're bringing it all to you and you're, just, you're involved in it. It's a cool aspect. immersion. It's yes. a cool. That's great. Phenomenal. I am really excited to be here and I'm really looking forward. And thank you for the surprise in our room. That was so nice. Uh, we ended up getting a knock on my door, and uh, our room steward had brought this really great box. And with it, we got two really nice lanterns. We also had this super cool, I mean, really neat environment. Recyclable is a little document approach with luggage tags. They said it came from broken windshield glass. Yes. It feels like a leather. It feels leather. That's amazing. I've had a few of them. I managed to sneak a few of them. Yes. They are absolutely gorgeous and sustainability is extremely important to us. We read a lot about Norwegian Prima where we go with water conservation and how we actually like limit the limitation of waste. It's really, really dear to us. And with new technologies, actually, we improve every single time we come up with new ship on that one. So we have actually uh, a program called Sell and Sustain. If you want to use Google just to read what we do. We're going to see like fleet wide with our partners as well as the destinations where we visit. We do a lot of those things, so like feel free to get more information about those. Yes, yes. I thought that was really great. Sustainability means a lot to me, and I love you know just having back to nature kind of things. So have you tried the metropolitan bar? Have I tried the metropolitan bar? I have not yet. Oh right, I will. Another new, another new one. So we have this bar from Metropolitan, and basically what we've done is basically. A kind of recycling of usually you know what when you do a cocktail, for example, let's say pina colada was what pineapple, that's what we have. What your local bar would do is just like take the actual flesh of the pineapple, put it in a cocktail, but and get rid of the little skin, the rough skin. So there's still a little bit of things, there's juice, there's sugar and flavor. So what we do to actually uh, limit the waste of food, we get that back and we turn into something else that we're going to use in cocktails. So actually it's more about trying to see that in a lot of restaurants nowadays, which is the zero waste cuisine, cooking, and we were thinking that for the very first time with which part of this These cocktails are amazing, to be honest. Maybe like those scraps of pineapples, we won't pull them into your cocktail first up. Maybe we're going to blend them, right. basically, put them in a blender mm -hmm. and mix with something else like, I don't know, an orange peel, for example. We're going to filter that and what's left. And you, was, you should be surprised at how much things are left in those scraps. Yeah. And they are very flavorful. And then we're going to include them in your cocktail. I love that. That's so neat. That's amazing. Neat. Yeah, uh, basically, you know, we just boarded yesterday. We did some exploration, but we haven't seen that yet. So we're going to have to go 
get over and, and, and do that. Next on your to-do list. There you go. <laughs> Got to add that list. Absolutely <laughs> fabulous. Wow, that's amazing. I'm looking forward to checking that out. Because, like I said, sustainability means a lot to me, and not having all that waste. You know, I, I had a huge garden. We had back here chickens. And I, that's just that's the core of who I am, and I think that's great that, that Norwegian follows along with that. Um, you know, maximizing, and also it saves a lot of revenue to so, yeah, to not have that waste. And I think that's great. People need to look at that right now with the way things are going, and that's the purpose that you know you're not it's being um, wasteful in that manner. So that's great. Wonderful. Any other places I need to hit before we wrap up? The spa. I know that's open. Oh my goodness, yes. And we have a spa suite. My daughter the was there for hours. Oh, it's wonderful. Yes. It's like it's a brand new concept. Absolutely gorgeous. We have fantastic gym as well and you have access to free during your cruise. And so it's to just get it. You have fantastic indoor pool with water pool. Uh, for the very first time as well we have introduced the chat pool. Um, charcoal, um, Sana. 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 Thank you. Yes. She's a healthy queen. <laughs> I was there. <laughs> so it's a, it's a true charcoal sauna. It's not like fake charcoal that you can find in, in, in many, many places. It's actual charcoal sauna. And the, the, the aromatics. Oh, it's, it's amazing. So the spa is definitely my favorite area. So do not miss the spa. Treat yourself, especially for vacation. Absolutely. It's great. Yeah, that and uh, the salt therapy room was not they had two pools. One was a salt water pool and one was a relaxation pool. Correct. And it almost smelled like sage. I think I got that. That's it's like possible. Actually, we use a lot of essential oils. Yeah. And it had like the green lights to kind of emphasize that. So maybe it was just my projection. But no, I thought I smelled sage. And uh, so many of the beautiful shows. And the aromatic shows. Oh, I can't wait to hang out more in there. It's great. And our room, our state room is so close to that. And uh, as you saw, I did the room tour, absolutely beautiful room, really nicely laid out, um, maximizing all that space. And, and finally, I would say what I really love with this ship is like, it's not seen anywhere else. It's a brand new concept. If you think you've seen it all in the cruise industry, come with us. And what is still very unique in Norwegian, what makes us Norwegian, is the first time, which means you dine whenever you want, wherever you want. We don't do formal nights. It used to be big in the cruise industry. We at Norwegian consider that on vacation, most of our clients do not want to get formal. If you want, if you have an anniversary celebration, feel free to put on the tuxedo and the tie. But if you don't want, why would you have to? And that's the choice. Once again, choice is the key word with us. And freestyle, I am a freestyle. It's like when I am on vacation, I don't know what I'm going to eat in an hour. I don't know what I'm going to get for breakfast. And I love this freedom. And that's what you have that does not exist in all the other cruise lines. You don't have this possibility to choose. Do you want to go dining at 6 because there's a show done at summer 7 for you? You don't want to miss it. Do you want to go to buffet? Do you want to go to indulge or new consent? Do you want to go into the main dining room? A specialty restaurant? That's your choice. And that's what makes Norwegian Norwegian. I completely agree with that. Um, I've been on a few other cruise ships where we had the set dining and it was 5.30 or 7.30 and the show is at 7 so you would either have to uh, leave early um, to make your dinner time or you would have to miss the show completely and if it's something you really want to see then you're out of luck and that's unfortunate. Yeah. And I love the way that Norwegian does that and everything is your decision your choice. Absolutely. So you need to contact me to go. Be sure you reach out to me. Info at honeysunshinetravel.com and I will get you on board this amazing organization. And amazing does not do it justice. There is no word that will do it justice other than check it out. Absolutely. It's Norwegian for is here and next year the sister ship Norwegian Viva is coming as well. She's going to debut in Mediterranean. She's going to go to ABC Island during the winter. So those two ships are very distinctive. I am itineraries so if you are interested in prima but would like to go on those other itineraries it's going to be the same experience so feel free to reach out to Kathy and first for your next reservation well thank you for meeting with me today face to face that's so cool to go side by side finally i know it's been years uh, make sure you tune in all of our other episodes and we'll see you guys next week bye I hope you guys enjoyed this week's episode. It was done a little bit differently. I was able to meet with Cindy face-to-face. -face. We were both on board Norwegian Prima. 
fabulous ship, absolutely fabulous. And make sure that you are subscribed to our channel because we, I have daily blogs that I did. I took a lot of video from around the ship, a lot of experiences that we had. Unfortunately, it was only three days. Um, I would love to go back. I think you need a full week to explore majority of the ship. And even then I think you might need a little bit to, to come back again because there's so much to see and do. The drop slides, the dueling slides where two of you go down and see who ends up going down the, the fastest and you go that way the um what was it called the uh galaxy pavilion and that was all the virtual reality and all the tech stuff and boy was that cool going on a virtual virtual reality roller coaster i so wish i could share that with you but of course it was on the headset so you can't do it but i really meant want to make sure you guys go there and check it all out and explore that area it is just fabulous. Unfortunately, we just had lunch and then we went there. So I sat out of the next couple of virtual realities, but um, it was just amazing. And they even had these little like um, motorcycles that you sat on and you watched the screen and you sort of tilted and you went along with the way a lot like Soren at Disney World. And uh, it was just, there was so much to do and so much to see. And you will not be disappointed. GoPro, um, I got GoPro footage. I tried to get GoPro footage, pardon me, of the go-karts. And um, that did not work out. Unfortunately, my GoPro broke. It kind of, yeah. Um, but there's a reason they tell you to use a wrist strap or a chest strap. And uh, unfortunately, it popped out of my pocket and got run over. So yeah, I had to get that replaced. Um, but uh, the go-kart, so worth it. Oh my goodness. Just absolutely fabulous. There is so much to do. I, I couldn't possibly experience and see it all. The infinity pool, my word. And they did it right. They did it so that it faces the ocean and it just drops off. Oh, wow. And the spa, the Mandarin spa with the um, the thermal suites. I did a walkthrough for that for you to see. Wow. Just wow. I really want you guys to get on board and to experience it. And I'm thankful that I was able to, to go myself and to go for the three days um, beyond amazing. I can't thank uh, Norwegian enough for including me on that inaugural. Next week, I'm going to be meeting with Eric. And we're going to be going over some of their cruiser, some of their celestial cruises. So we're going to be discussing the cruises in Greece and uh, all the little islands. And I believe that he even went to Istanbul and fabulous. He loves it. And it really shows. You can really see all of his, uh, his excitement. And I'm happy to meet with him. So I'm going to be meeting with him next week. Make sure you subscribe to our channel and remember to share these videos. And we will see you all next week. Bye, everybody.